Hi, I'm Mr. Unger here with another review type problem uh, for the high school math praxis. So uh, a friend of mine sent me a problem yesterday, uh, somewhat like this, um, where you were given the, the graph of the first derivative of f of x, and you had to select the graph of f of x. And it was a multiple choice uh, a through d type problem. Um, and I told him one of the ways to review for this is to draw what f of x could be like. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to label some key points on f of x that we first want to start out looking at. So for x equals negative 3, it's going to be a key point. Or x equals negative 1 is going to be a key point. Or x equals 1 is going to be a key point. We also want to note that below negative 3, the slope is negative. So the slope of f of x will be negative. Uh, between negative 3 and negative 1, the slope will be positive. Remember, the um, first derivative is the slope of the tangent line. Okay, between negative 1 and 1, the slope is negative, And then above 1 is uh, positive. Okay, so we want to figure out what these points are here. Okay. So, uh, and they're going to be either minimums or maximums, because where the slope is 0, um, for instance, let's say you had some, some function like that. Uh, slope's going to be 0 at this maximum here, right? The local max. So there's going to be a local maximum or minimum um, at each of these points. And we got to figure out which one it is. Now, if, let's do a different color. if you are coming, uh, slope below negative 3 is negative, so it's going down and the slope above negative 3 is positive, you're going to have a minimum. So this here is going to be a minimum. Likewise, if the slope is positive below negative 1, something like that, and negative after, oops, let it drop out again, and negative after, you're going to have a max, a local max. Okay, and then again, we've got negative and positive, so this is a minimum. Now we can sketch possible how the graph might possibly look. And, you know, again, you'll have multiple choices, choice answers on this. Um, I'm just making little dashed lines up here. So you'll be able to select one. So let's start. We have a minimum here. Here. And we're going to have a maximum here. Like that. And then we'll have another. Minimum somewhere here. Okay, so you're going to have something that looks like that as a function. Okay. Uh, now, keep in mind, I drew this above the x axis. It could be below the x axis. It could be crossing back and forth across the x axis. In fact, they may do that, but it's going to maintain, you know, this kind of shape to it. Um, you want to focus on the minimums and the maximums, finding where those are, and then you can sketch it uh, from there. So you know, two possible graphs of what f of x would look like. Uh, if you have questions on doing this, uh, leave comments in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. Um, also, if you want to check out more math stuff, I'll leave a link for my math blog in the description. And if you're a teacher and want to check out some of my free or paid worksheets. I'll leave a, a link to my teacher, a teacher store in the description. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, have a great day.